welcome back to The, the Breakthrough. Breakthrough. I am one of your hosts, Sophina Latifa, and... I am Hanif Carter, aka Billionaire Carter. Thank you so much for tuning back in. If you guys have been tuning in with us for the past couple episodes, you know that we talk about everything in the indie world. Exactly. All independent genres. And today we're going to be talking about indie film. Yes! Love it! Yes, so the film industry has been paving the way for indie artists in general. It is a big trend for a lot of people to be independent artists in film, in television. You know, we got the short films, we got the actual films, just so many because of the festivals. Exactly. I remember as a kid going to the film festivals, you know, they're amazing. Yes, which ones did you go to? Um, I believe, I remember I went to the Pan-African Film Festival and the Hollywood Black Film Festival. Okay, okay, and we all know Sundance, which is one of the biggest film festivals out there that's located in Utah, which I've never been to that one, which will would be fun to go to one of these days. Exactly. Let's take a trip. (laughs) We can, hey, we can can go film an episode out there. Hey, let us know, viewers, if you guys want us to go there. But, you know, it's such a great thing to have your film be a part of one of those festivals because if your film gets chosen, you can have a free audience just to get that feedback. You know, constructive criticism is great. Oh, yes, exactly. And you know what I love so much about this? What's that? (laughs) I was waiting for that. I just love that we don't have to wait for someone else to give us the opportunity. We make the opportunity ourselves. Well, I'm not, you know, a director or a producer, but I am an actress. So I don't have to wait for someone to give me a part. I could go with a fellow director, a fellow producer, and we can make our own stuff for you guys to watch, for us to watch, and we can watch it at any time, whenever we want. Like we talked about music before. Mm-hmm. They're grinding and hustling. You know, we're grinding and hustling. There's just so many genres of the indie industry, and we all just grinding and hustling. Exactly, I, I really don't think that independent artists understand the power that they have. Yeah. I think that the media obviously knows that the power that they have because, you know, it's based off of the views and the likes and things like that. But it's also, you know, you're doing it for the love that you have for your genre. You're right, but let, let me stop you right there because you're opening up a can of worms right now and the producers <laughs> told me that we're going to have an episode completely directed towards that. So. Okay, so we're going to have a whole episode about social media, like, later? Exactly. Are, okay, yes. sure? Yeah. I, I, are y'all sure? We promise. Okay. Cool. We promise. Okay. All right. As long as we go and touch that subject later, that's all that matters, because that is big. Big, big, big. But back to indie film, you have one of your fellow Bruins, who's a heavy hitter in the game. Oh, yes! My girl, Ava DuVernay. Okay, she is killing it in the game. We got some of that she did. We got When They See Us. Mm. That's, you know, I'm about to cry right now just thinking about it. Hey, I came Ooh. from a Bruin family, so I've heard of Ava yeah. many years ago. So, you know, I've, I've, you're, you're new to the game. Oh, oh, I'm new to the game, but I'm a Bruin? You know what? We're just, <laughs> just going to let that go. There we go. <laughs> anyway, I'm just going to let that slide by because, you know, okay. Okay, what about Spike Lee? He definitely paved the way for us black filmmakers. Exactly. He is a, a great example of an indie filmmaker. Mm. He graduated his master's in arts in film and television. Dude has not gone the traditional route. He's mm-hmm. gone his own way, filmed his own movies, and then he created his own company, 40 Acres in the Woo! Woo! That is amazing. He's awesome. I mean, he's known all over. Can you elaborate a little bit more on him? Yes, he is a great example of an indie filmmaker. Mm -hmm. He graduated his master's in arts in film and television, and he did not go the traditional route and wait for his 40 acres of mule. He actually went and created his own company about 40 acres of mule. Yes, yes, and that is what indie is all about. He didn't wait for anyone to give him his 40 acres of mule. He made it himself. (laughs) Go Spike Lee. (laughs) Exactly, and he just finally Long overdue, won an Oscar this year, 2019. Way overdue, man. Way overdue, right? Do you all agree? I mean, we agree. Exactly. Mm. The movie was so deep, I'm going to go watch it again. Ooh, can I come? Mm, I don't know. Okay, so we all got to go watch the movie because without him, because he just dogged me this episode. We supposed to be a team. Teamwork made the dream. We're a team. Right, we can okay. go. We can all go. We can all, all right, go. don't sweat it. But my girl Ava, she does the same thing, okay? My boy, he just got that Emmy for the When They See Us because of the Exonerated Five. It's really important. Definitely. 
that docu-series, not only it gave a voice, but Ava gave it more than a voice. She gave it a torso, mm -hmm. legs, Ooh! chest, Fingers. arms, all of that. <laughs> Everything. Exactly. And it is really deep. I mean, I cried throughout the whole entire series. It was amazing. I binge watched it, even though it wasn't that long as it is. But she made it a point to call them the Exonerated Five so that people don't define them or in the whole, like the world, like we don't let people define us. We define ourselves. Exactly. You better preach, sister. <laughs> I see it. The only way definitely to go is independent. You gotta yeah. say that right. You have to make sure you define yourself and know what your worth is. Because once you know what your definition is, what your worth is, then you can go and collaborate with other big companies. Exactly. See, I'm definitely going to collaborate myself, mm -hmm. but I will never be bought. No, oh, no, because once your message is bought before you're defined or confident in your work, then your message isn't true. Exactly. If you can be bought, then your message can be compromised. You are right. Oh. oh. So, Fina, we have a viewer question. Okay, read it to me, read it to me. When did Ava DuVernay first get real recognition? Okay. She got her real recognition at the 2012 Sundance Festival. Director's Award, and her film was called Middle of Nowhere. Well, that's all our time. Until next time, break through. Your musical evolution has ended. We control the sound. It's time you all got down. We bring you electrophonic. Fong, 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 fong. Welcome back, this is Hanif Carter here with The Breakthrough. We have Keenan Chapman, he's a Los Angeles born and raised artist. He painted this mural behind us and has done plenty of other works. I wanted him to introduce himself to the world, let him know what, let the people work know what uh, indie means to you, brother, and how the Merc Park is, is help you grow into the person that you am and help you keep growing. Well, yes, my name is artist Keenan Chapman. I'm from Los Angeles, California. And uh, just being an independent artist out of Los Angeles has really, you know, put me essentially in the in the space to, to do for self you know what I mean that's the that's the main thing that's that's important with that having a voice having a platform to be able to you know communicate my feelings being an indie artist um, really put me in the space to do for self and you know being from Lamar Park and having a platform to be able to you know set up uh, paint live sell prints mm. do my thing as a young black artist was a uh, was real big you know help me become my own entrepreneur you know what I'm saying and I move around with my art now so I'm from Los Angeles I live in Atlanta now but yeah. I work back and forth That's awesome. and uh, just being exposed you know to the cultures out here in the world is is, is what's, what's most important to a creative you hmm. know what I mean that's where we draw inspiration from Man. nature and just experiences around the world so True. you know I'm just grateful to have these platforms and even you know, brothers like yourself out here man. giving a platform and a voice to the artists in the community. So, you know what I mean? That's love. Man, we, man, we appreciate you, man, for, for being out here and blessing us with your, you know, with your grace and your, your time. And, you know, man, his, you can check out a piece, you know, his piece of artwork. Let me know what, uh, 
Let me know a little bit about your piece, man, back back there. Just a little bit, bro. Yeah. Hey, here we got a piece of Nip Hustle. Mm -hmm. uh, real good brother of the community. He was a partner of mine. Did a few of his tattoos. Mm -hmm. He was uh, just a real genuine soul. So this was a way for me to pay homage, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. and, and just let the world know that, you know, he, he left his mark. And uh, he's still here shining and, and he's looking over the city. He was came through Lamert, you know what I'm saying? This was home for him as well. And, uh, you know, we just need to keep that staple throughout the city. True. So there's multiple artists and murals popping up all over this place. And, man. You know, I'm grateful to be in this in this space today. Man, hey, man. Great, grateful for you too, brother, man. Sure. Appreciate it, man. Let the people know where they, man, they can follow you at, man. Get at you, man. And let you know where you can, you know, purchase your artwork or, or things like that, man. So we can, sure, you know. You can follow me online at Artist Keenan Chapman. Artist Keenan Chapman. That's K-E-E-N-A-N-C-H-A-P-M-A-N. And uh, that's it. It's all love. Y'all keep it in motion. Hey. Shout out to all the creatives out there, all the indies out there. Hey. Salute. Hey, man. Hey, you hear it, man? Hey, man. Appreciate it, man. Thank you, big bro, man. Appreciate you, man, for everything, man. Hey, you had a good, man. Breakthrough on the beat. Continue to uplift. Continue to break through. We'll see you soon. Welcome back to The Breakthrough. In-depth interview. Yes. And I am Sofina Vandiva. And I am Hanif Carter, aka Billionaire Carter. And here today we have Derek McKee. He's a musician, an artist, a writer, and a producer, with many other things. <laughs> what else are you? Please! Uh, let's go. Um, okay. Philanthropist. Okay. I like to focus on the entrepreneur aspect of it all. All right. Indie. Uh, music publishing. Oof. Woo! Um, that's a good start for us. All right, fine. We'll, 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 yeah, we'll, 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 we'll stick to those ones. Yeah, we'll stick to those ones. All right. Awesome. Great. So tell us a little bit more in-depth, <laughs> in-depth interviews, get it? <laughs> Sorry guys, I'm Courtney. <laughs> a little bit more in-depth, uh, let's, let's start with the music portion. Okay. What does it mean to you to be independent? Independent honestly means everything to me personally because my whole career has been independent. I've been wow. offered major situations and instead of going that route, I felt that I could push myself just as well as some of these major situations were offering at the time. Okay. And going independent actually was the best thing for me at the time because it gave me a lot of control mm -hmm. over my vision, what I saw for myself versus having somebody else control the narrative and throw me out there how they saw it. Exactly, yeah. that's key. You, you didn't want to compromise your, your will and your way for what they're offering you. Absolutely. That's dope, that's dope. Exactly. That's dope. Now, do you think you have accomplished your vision or maybe accomplished one vision? What, like, what is your vision that you, you speak of? You know, it's funny because when I was younger, my ultimate goal was to have a music video on BT, mm -hmm. on TV at some point in my life because I felt like being surrounded by so many musicians that were coming up and doing the thing that I had either come across or that I personally known mm -hmm. that I could do that myself. Mm -hmm. And that was always my ultimate goal. Others have this goal of being super rich, super famous, and all that stuff. That was never really my goal. My goal was honestly just to be known for doing good work mm. and being revered and respected for that. So when I actually did achieve that goal of having a number one video on BET, Oof. years later in my life, in 2011 or something like that, then that burning sensation that was inside of me, that drive, it was still there, but there was a level of peace that went with that as well, like, mm. job well done, you know what I mean? Yeah. Like, you did it, so. That is awesome. Yeah. So then after you accomplished that vision, what was the next vision after that? Honestly, the next vision after that was to get back home and focus on my family. Where's because home? Out here, okay. I mean, out here, but I was constantly on the road. Mm. So, like, oh. I was touring a lot, I was overseas, I was, I would come home, maybe spend like three weeks out of a month and oh. for approximately about a year and a half. This was my routine. And so when you have kids, they don't understand that lifestyle. Right. You know, so I felt at that point in my life, it's probably better I, I come back home and focus on my family. Because the times that I would come home, my kids would look at me almost like I was a stranger. And, oh. and that's very disheartening and it's a, yeah. it's a serious adjustment, you know. Especially when they're in those formidable years. Yeah, yeah. those younger so years. So, when you we're talking about your career right now, what I know it's still it's still lasting. It's mm -hmm. the, it ain't stopping. What are some of your your great successes that you have had already? It was funny because 
after I had this that success with Wolf, I like to say the whole career was a success because mm. I love it. Yeah, the whole thing has been so far successful and is still continuing to be a success story. It, um, there was many times in the early stages of my career where people were saying, you can't do this, you can't do that. Mm. You can't get away with doing this. Artists don't do this. Mm. Da, 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 da. And I took it upon myself to kind of just buff that system and say, I actually was told I could do everything and anything possible that I would set my mind to. You know? So I'm going to do this, I don't see a reason why I can't do this, and you guys haven't shown me a real reason why I can't do this, mm -hmm. you're just an executive who's temporarily, I feel like, in the seat anyways, right. telling me <laughs> that I can't do something, and I know music is a cycle, and it yeah. changes, mm -hmm. so that means mindsets change, sounds change, ears change, you know what I mean, and so, I think sticking to those guns and doing things my way. The whole career has just kind of been a big success for me. What was, what is one of the key things that you say has outstretched somebody else's arm? Like your arm has outstretched somebody else's arm. Like what is that thing that like, I'm trying to say, um, that, um, that you have noticed that you've taken from other people to use in your lane, but to, you know, oversee that or to, to overdo that. Like, if you're, if you're trying to catch it, you kind of catch my dream. You mean um, things I pull from other artists? You're yeah, like, to yeah, like help you, further my career. Exactly. Like okay. who was who was there for you? You know, it's I yeah, guess no, to like pay uh, that way. You know? I, it's funny because my family is full of entertainers Ooh. and full of people who are locked in the entertainment business. So it started with my parents. My mother, she's an actress slash producer. Her name is Sheila Frazier. Mm. Her first film that she did was called Superfly, oh, and man. she's a leading lady in Superfly, the original. The original. Ah! And she did a lot of TV shows, a lot of movies back in the day, and talking about the 70s and 80s. My father, on the other hand, he was on the music side. He's actually the second black music agent over at William Morris. So that's like a historical Shoot. thing, when especially coming through the day and age where that was absolutely unheard of. Um, talking about the 60s, the 70s. The first black agent over there was actually Wally Amos, famous Amos mm. Cookies. No, no and so, oh my so that's where I came from? Yeah. And so what? Hey, we, he came we, after we he came after that. And a lot of my father's he's a real heavyweight, but he's very quiet. You don't mm. see him, you know what I mean? But my father actually is you can look it up, Google search it, I like to say nowadays you can say yeah, Google. 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 Yeah. But <laughs> he's responsible for discovering Bruce Springsteen. What? Uh, and so, like, that was his act. He had Stevie Wonder, he had Teddy Pendergrass, he has, you know, oh my a lot of people. So, oh, yeah. this is my upbringing, this is what I'm seeing, this is what I'm surrounded by uh -huh. my yeah. entire life. So, a lot of times, the things I was getting from people mm -hmm. was just more of a, um, I'm sitting back here and observing. Mm -hmm. And then, every now and then, it would be springs of conversations I would have with these people, a lot of these people eventually went on to kind of be like Siri family members to me, you know, mm -hmm. so I can call on them yeah. still to this day, that kind of thing. So it's always just been more of this, you've always been there. Yeah. Kind of yeah. Mindset, you know what I mean? So it's just like another family member giving you advice. Yes. That's good. Okay, so you did speak about what it means to you to be an independent artist. But why did you choose to be an independent artist throughout this whole time when you had so many different connections? It's a very good question. Um, part of the reason why I chose to be independent, probably the mo majority of my career, I've had different partnerships with different, I should say, partnerships. I'm not, not signed. I'm not working for, gotcha. I have to say. I've had different partnerships with different entities, whatnot, but I've always maintained independence and ownership of myself because I was always taught that that was the most important thing in this entertainment industry, either be it on the TV and film side mm -hmm. or on the music side, is that you have control and ownership of your product. Mm -hmm. I myself was the product. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Other than God, my parents, ain't nobody else controlling me. Mm. I love it. That's it. Exactly. We're done. You see what I'm saying? Uh -huh. And unfortunately, in this industry, you have a lot of entities that control people, so therefore you see a lot of manipulation. Mm -hmm. And when they decide to buck that control, you see how things get manipulated and they destroy lives. 
Um, okay, so this is the untold story of the entertainment industry, yeah. the dark cloud of the inter entertainment industry, and so why you see careers get destroyed left and right. Mm -hmm. This is what really goes on. You know, and this is what's the real reasoning behind a lot of that stuff because you're bucking the system. Mm -hmm. Simply. Mm -hmm. It's it's not science, it's not some like secret, so yeah. to speak. You know, right. like, it's very it's kinda like it's almost like straightforward business. It is. Yeah. You know Especially I mean? with social media nowadays. Uh, it's, it's, it, there's there's no really hiding too much of the facts. Uh, it's independency is the way up. What's going on is what's going on, you know. Right. I mean? So exactly. that was part of the reason why I wanted to be independent. I didn't want to be under anybody's reins. I didn't want to feel like I was a puppet. Yeah. yeah. I didn't, even as a child, because I used to act as a child. One of the reason why I stopped acting when I was a child was because I used to hate going to auditions. And <laughs> back in the 80s, they would tell you literally straight up, you're not what we're looking for. There was no grace period and somebody coming later yeah. on, your agency, it just didn't work out or something. They would flat out be like, no, sorry, <laughs> next. Damn. So if you're a child, Dealing with that, oh, yeah. kids today could never deal with something like that. Honestly, yep. God, they couldn't deal with that because True. it's it was too harsh. It was too abrasive. It was mm. too just too like. So what yeah. what tip would you give the indie artists out there on in all, all genres and all forms? What tips would you give them in this world right now that they can use? Yeah. Be independent, but before. You just focus on being independent, make sure you actually understand the business mm -hmm. of being independent. Mm -hmm. Because it's a, it's not even only a business that you're in, there's a business actually of being independent. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Okay. Because truthfully, when you're being independent, you are working for yourself. You see what I'm saying? Sure. And so when yeah. you're working for yourself, you can't rely on something or somebody else all the time. You right. can't always rely on your parents, your loved ones, your friends, say, hey, I need this and this. Oh, yeah. I don't have this, you know, yeah. I don't have that. So when you're independent, you have to understand this is a mental shift. Mm -hmm. I am right. mentally taking on what big this corporate act. America takes on every single day. Right. Am I ready for that? This means it could be legal. It mm -hmm. could be okay. whatever yeah. you can possibly come up with. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. It could be I didn't like this product, I don't yeah. want this, I want to take this back, you know, how are you going to deal with that? Yeah. You know, mm -hmm. There's so many different variables into that, so it's very important that you're cognizant, mm -hmm. being independent means that you are independent, okay. you are Yeah, so you yourself. said something in there, you said something about uh, make sure that they learn what independent means. Mm -hmm. How does one, look? like if they're just starting off, they, they know they have either talent <clears throat> or passion, where do they learn from these things? I mean, they can learn from you, but... But, you know what I mean? Reach back. Mm. Okay. A lot of people I talk to, I'm amazed at how, like, they don't value the resources that are sitting right there in front of them, mm. their faces, starting with your parents. Mm. Yeah. Honest to God, like, starting with your parents, I'm not talking about my parents because they were in their entertainment. I'm talking because generationally, they knew what was, some, what was going on before me. Mm. You see what I'm saying? Like, mm -hmm. you're never wisdom. Yeah. It's always about knowledge, wisdom, and understanding. You're not brand new yeah you see what i'm saying yeah. you're not brand new to the whole concept of life right uh, you're the last addition to this concept of life yeah. you see what i'm saying oh, so yes. it's important to go back and understand what was going on before so you don't repeat negative cycles mm -hmm. you stay with positive cycles you know how to maybe shift to create something even bigger you know what i mean right. it's very important to life. reach back and understand what was going on in the past that way you know we're going in the future, in the future. Nice. Okay, now can you tell the audience before we wrap it up real quick <laughs> what you have coming up and where we can find you? I recently just got a notice yesterday, as a matter of fact, that I have a song placed in a new Netflix movie coming out called. Congrats! Thank you. Yeah, appreciate it. Called what? It's called Uncourt. Oh, oh, produced oh, by oh. Prentice Penny. He's oh. also the showrunner of Insecure. Yeah, what? yeah, okay. As well. Oh, man. Brother as well, whatnot. But yeah, oh, okay. so, but that's not. What that was, no, no, literally no. like, yeah. That's People amazing. know I've been doing this for a long time. I've been doing songs for TV, film, and soundtracks behind the scenes since, since I took myself off the tour. Man. You know what I mean? So that's, that's what amazing. I've been doing for a while. Wow. And where can we find you? You can find me at DerekMcKeith.com. Website. Com. Website. Ranger everything. My yes. everything is literally underneath my name. Google it. <laughs> DerekMcKeith.com. 
Instagram, Derek McKeith. Everything is Everything Derek is McKeith. Derek Make sure you guys write that I down. I don't hide from anybody. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> well, thank you so much, Derek McKeith. Thank you. Yes. <laughs> it was a pleasure having Appreciate you on the show. You. Thank you. you are awesome. Thank, thank you. you. Thank, thank you. you. Once again, thank you for tuning in to the Breakthrough In Depth interview. We had Derek McKeith. Yes. Yes. <laughs> and until next time, make sure you break, break through. through.